I'm tired too. It's been a long eight years for me. Well, don't give up hope. See, you know what? I do this all the time with Trump. I get, I'll get angry. I get so angry. I'm just like, I'm done. And then it, if I would just wait sometimes, but I'm impatient. Um, I, I realize why he's doing something he's doing. So, you know, people do know, like, that they shorted his stock the day that they tried to assassinate him. So I screenshotted this so that people can read it in case nobody came across it. What most aren't seeing is the swap, all the ultra-billionaires now turning to Trump, bet on something happening the 13th. That best bet cost them the world. They shorted his public stock. And if you look, companies President Trump was holding in when it failed at 6-11. That, that week, the American president just became one of the biggest holders of the petrodollar. The reason all of the world sent him not only well wishes, but also sent him sealed diplomatic pouches, BlackRock, Vanguard, and all those that had interest in those holding companies just now are now owned in a way by Mr. Trump. Why do you think Microsoft, Amazon, and so many, so many more are exiting DEI? He literally did what in business would be a hostile takeover of the stock market and Federal Reserve using their own rules. He really doesn't have to be president. It is just another title for him at this point. The information bubble has burst. It cannot be stopped. Now there is no more left, right. It is Americans. And I was hearing something today. Somebody had actually called, I forget who it was, that was trying to interview and find out why did you, why did you just happen to short the stock? So, so all these billionaires banked on him being assassinated and ended up hurting themselves when it didn't happen. I mean, that I, I would be good with that with Trump having all the money. <laughs> I seriously, much better than the rest of these these pieces of garbage. But can you can you imagine the amount I mean, the amount of uh, it must I mean it for somebody that's I mean, so let's just let's just face it. People aren't going to want to see it, but because even I couldn't imagine this because I'm not a master chess player, but Trump is a master chess player. He's not just a one match chess player, though. He's, what do they say, the 5D chess player because he can play a, a whole bunch of different um, boards of chess at the same time. I mean, that's master because then they all went, they went bankrupt or they're at least not as rich as they used to be. <sighs> How much it must piss him off for these dirt bags to then try to come up and uh, chum me up to him. Because, you know, like, unless you're a stupid person, and I've never thought that Trump is stupid by any means. No, I've always thought he's genius. But... It must really piss somebody like Trump off that you think you're going to play me with this. Uh, you were a never Trumper, and now you're uh, you're in my camp. Really? That must. I mean, that would piss me off. Like you think I'm that stupid? You think you're going to play this game on me? You think I'm that stupid? Okay, well let's play your game. Let's put you out there. Let the world uncover who you all are. And then I don't even I don't even have to say a thing because once the American people know who you all are, well, just a matter of time. But the other thing I was thinking is that, you know, because early on after 2020, I'm like, there's no point in voting in 2024 because you can't vote yourself out of a, you know, system. And a lot of people were saying that. And Nothing's really been done about that. So how do you, if anything, you know, the Democrats have been doing everything they can to get these illegals to be able to vote, which they don't even have to get them to go. They'll just go and do it for them, especially if they can do it, you know, a mail-in. But I'm like, how, you, sorry, my phone. Um, how, how would that poss be possible, 
you know, they're just going to do it again. But that's why I don't think any of this is legit. Is it legit, even Vance? I don't even think it's legit. Because if, because he has the evidence of what happened in 2020. He does. Everybody knows that. He said it. He has said it. I, I have it. We, we know. But I have all of it. So, and we've seen, most of us that have followed him have seen that evidence, especially if you were on Parlor, it was all over. I mean, it was obvious what had happened. That's why the mainstream media really, really, I can't stand couldn't stand after that because they literally have wanted to say well experts told us it's like there's no way you you motherfuckers didn't know what the rest of us on parlor saw which I which is then it was shortly after that parlor came down um so I mean they have all that so really there's none of this is really legit because then if you go back to having to fix 2020 well, then Vance really doesn't matter, right? I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying I don't think any of it's legit. So my 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 exhaustion came in the fact that, oh, no, we're going to have to go through four years of this dirtbag Vance that's nothing but a globalist and Trump surrounding himself by around these people, having these people surround him again. But I don't think so now. Now, now that I read that what I just showed you um no I, I I think maybe he's he's really just rubbing their faces in it now especially um I'm gonna post after this uh the sum of all fears the ending of some of all fears I guess the music they played at the end of the RNC and Trump picked the music was the the music playing at the end of some of all fears when the person they try to assassinate goes after his enemies and assassinates all of them. That's what they played at the end of the RNC convention. Now, I didn't watch any of the RNC convention. Not because of I, I can't watch many of those people, those other politicians. I, they just annoy me at this point. Yeah. I, it's just, you know, makes me sick. So I really couldn't watch it, and um, and I didn't want. I didn't even watch what he said because I didn't want to hear the praising of Vance. So I, I I didn't really even see his speech. So um, a lot of times, though, you know what he says on the campaign. You know, a lot of it is the same old thing. I'm not saying that. It's just you know when they campaign and they a lot of times the speeches are the same. I, I'm I'm sure there was some of it that was different, but I do think it's interesting that. That's the song they played at the end of the RNC convention, is the song that's at the end of Some of All Fears. So I'm tired too. But that this gave me a little bump back to hopefulness.